It wasn't that long ago when we were collectively asked to mask up and stay indoors to squash the coronavirus. Well, it turns out all those precautions squashed something else. The Yamagata strain. It was already on the decline, and this was just the nail in the coffin for it. He's talking about a flu strain that's now gone. Dr. Matt Gentry is a local pharmacist at Rite Aid, and part of his job is a certified immunizer. I was like, you know, the flu vaccine is different this year, but not a lot of people know why. He wrote to King 5 about what he calls an exciting change in this year's flu shot. The last 10 years, it protected against four strains of flu, so a quadrivalent vaccine. This year, they changed it to only include three strains, but that's not the important thing. The important thing is why it's only three strains this year. Dr. Matt says years of COVID-19 precautions during the pandemic helped prevent the spread of the coronavirus and a particular strain of the flu known as influenza B Yamagata, which was already on the decline and hasn't been detected since March 2020. We eliminated a strain of flu from circulation in the world. Since 2012, the shots available were quadrivalent, targeting four strains. The CDC says the flu vaccine for the 2024-2025 season will now only target two influenza A strains and one influenza B Victoria strain. Since influenza B is a virus that can only be transmitted person to person and doesn't involve pigs or um, birds, then what happened was that because humans weren't transmitting it to each other, it became completely eliminated. Dr. Helen Chu is a professor of infectious diseases at UW Medicine and does research on vaccines. I think what it tells us is that you can certainly stop transmission of viruses through measures such as masking and staying home while sick. While the change in this year's flu shot may seem small, Dr. Matt says it's a huge success. All of that pain we went through, it meant something. It mattered. The CDC cannot say for sure if the B. Yamagata flu strain is extinct forever. Other B strains of the flu that disappeared have reemerged in the past, and because of this, the CDC and the World Health Organization will continue to monitor it. For HealthLink, I'm Christine Pei. Christine, thank you. So what about the common cold? Right now we're finding out why we keep catching a new cold. Whereas a person usually catches the flu or COVID only once per season, UW researchers found it's because there are many different uh, variations of the rhinovirus circulating at a given time, which means that you can catch colds more than once. Fun, right? Rhinovirus is the most common virus that causes the common cold. Each of these versions doesn't mutate, doesn't change very much. So this is very promising to consider the possibility of a vaccine if we have the chance to know them all. To learn more about the research, plus this year's vaccines and where to get them, you can look for the story in the health link section of king5.com.